My dear child, will you take my warning seriously this time? Will you truly listen to the words I'm about to speak and understand the urgency of what I'm trying to tell you? There's a storm coming, an unseen disaster that's quietly heading your way, and it's closer than you think. Will you hear me out and let my words sink deeply into your heart? Will you take to heart the actions I'm about to share with you? Because my child, I believe in you. Yes, I wholeheartedly believe that you hold the power to change the course of this disaster, to redirect it before it crashes into your life. But here's the thing, you don't have to do this alone. What you need right now is someone to guide you, someone to show you the path out of the storm that's coming. And my child, I'm here, ready to be that guide for you. I'm willing to help you step by step to show you how to turn this impending danger into nothing more than a passing shadow. The question is, my dear child, are you ready to listen? Are you ready to trust me as your teacher, to follow my lead and take the steps I will show you? Because the direction of your life is about to change and it all depends on this moment right now on whether or not you will accept my guidance. If your answer is yes, my child, then let's begin this journey together and face the storm head on before it has a chance to reach you. My dear child, before I reveal the disaster that lies ahead, there is something deeply important that I need to tell you. It's about who you've become in your life right now. It truly pains me to see you living this way, following a path that looks just like everyone else's. You've convinced yourself that it's okay, telling yourself, everyone around me lives like this, so why shouldn't I? But my child, you weren't created to be like everyone else. I made you unique, set apart, with gifts and potential that are unlike anyone else's. But you haven't fully realized that yet. You've settled for a life that doesn't reflect the extraordinary person you were meant to be. And this is leading you down a dangerous road. That's the disaster I need to warn you about. The path of unfulfilled potential the risk of losing sight of who you truly are. My child, you were meant for so much more. You have a purpose that no one else can fulfill, yet you've allowed yourself to blend into the crowd. This is what's pulling you toward the disaster I want to help you avoid. So, are you ready to understand what's really happening? Are you ready to know the truth? Let's take the next step and reveal it together. My dear child, the disaster I've been warning you about is something that's been quietly growing within you. It's your habit of procrastination. This habit has become a silent destroyer, creeping into your life unnoticed, but its impact is far reaching. It's no longer just a bad habit. It has grown so large that it threatens the very stability of your life. Each day, procrastination steals precious moments from you, preventing you from accomplishing the things that truly matter. And yet, you've become blind to how dangerous it has become, thinking it's just a small delay here and there. But my child, Procrastination has become your greatest enemy. It's robbing you of opportunities, growth and progress, day after day. What worries me is whether you're ready to confront this enemy head on and turn things around before it's too late. The road ahead won't be easy, 
but it's necessary if you want to avoid the disaster that's looming. However, if you decide to change, if you're truly ready to break free from this cycle, know this, your new life will come at a cost. It will require you to leave behind your comfort zone, to let go of your old ways, and to part with the habits you've clung to for so long. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. The question is, uh, my child, are you prepared to pay that price? Only you can answer that. My dear child, I've already spoken to you through my word. In Proverbs 13, 4, it says, The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. You've been longing for change, hoping for something more in your life, but your lack of action has left you empty-handed. You're craving a new reality, yet you've done little to bring it into being. This is not the life I designed for you, my child. I created you for so much more, for a life of abundance, purpose, and fulfillment. But this fullness, this richness of life you desire, will not come without effort. It is the diligent, those who work with discipline and commitment, who find themselves richly rewarded. I know you want to escape this sense of lack, this feeling of stagnation, but understand, it won't be easy. There will be sacrifices along the way. You'll need to leave behind habits that have held you back and embrace a new way of living that demands discipline and perseverance. My child, understand this. Once you make the decision to change, there is no turning back. In Luke 9.62, I said, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. This is the truth, and it applies to your life today. The moment you choose to commit to a new path, you must move forward with unwavering focus. There's no room for old habits to creep back in, no space for second guessing or doubt. Once you've set your heart on change, looking back will only drag you down. Yes, I know it won't be easy. I understand that stepping away from the comfort of your past will feel daunting. You've grown accustomed to the ways you've lived, even if they haven't brought you the fulfillment you desire. But my child, that comfort comes at a cost. It holds you back from the future I have planned for you. One that is filled with abundance, purpose, and a life far greater than what you've known. But this kind of life requires a leap of faith. It will demand that you let go of the things that have been holding you back. The procrastination, the fear, the doubt. You cannot move forward while clinging to the past. The cost of this journey is high, but the rewards will far surpass anything you've experienced. Yet even in the face of this challenge, you are not alone. I am with you every step of the way. If you choose to take up the mantle of diligence, you'll see the change you've been craving. You'll move beyond the emptiness and into the fullness I have prepared for you. The path to a richly supplied life is in your hands. Are you ready to embrace it? So, my child, the question remains, will you step out in faith? Will you release the weight of what's behind you and trust me to guide you forward? The choice is yours. Know that I am here, waiting, ready to walk with you on this new journey. But it starts with your decision. Once you move forward, there's no turning back. Like this video 
and type Amen if you have faith in me. You have gained immeasurable wisdom from everything you've experienced in life. You weren't afraid to step into the world and put your ideas to the test. And with each failure, with every setback, you didn't see it as defeat. You saw it as valuable feedback. You've come to understand that learning how not to do something is just as powerful as learning how to do it right. Each misstep has been a stepping stone, guiding you forward, showing you a better way. Your heart, my dear one, is filled with gratitude for the lessons you've learned along the way. You now see the beauty in the challenges, the grace in every fall. I have been with you through it all, picking you up when you stumbled, giving you the strength to continue. Know that every experience has shaped you into the person you are today. Embrace the wisdom you've earned, for it is a gift, and feel the overwhelming love and support I have always given you. You are never alone, and each lesson brings you closer to your true self.